most people are crazy about ferrets. And why won't they be? Because ferrets are cute, docile, and extremely curious to explore. And we think these qualities make them an amazing pet to adopt, right? But maybe not. There are some more things that you should consider before getting a ferret as your home pet. So let's figure it out. Petopedia. Before adopting any exotic pet, your major concern is whether it's legal or not, right? And in terms of the ferret, it goes the same. So you should check out the local laws and get the proper information about the legality. For instance, ferrets are strictly prohibited in New York, California, and Hawaii. But the good news is that they are legal in the remaining states. Hence, our recommendation is to check the allowance for keeping ferrets as pets. Do ferrets stink? Yes, they give a musky odor. Just like dogs and cats, ferrets are born with anal glands that are located on either side of their rectum. And these glands are filled with musky smelling oil. And this is why they spread a weird smell throughout your home. But in the case of many pet ferrets, these smelly glands are surgically removed before selling. Yep, it's true. And this process is called descenting. Mostly, ferrets go through this surgical process when they are very young. Otherwise, most people would never want them as home pets just because their glands smell so musky. However, even after this descented surgery, ferrets may still retain a milder musky odor that some people find unpleasant. Hence, if you don't like odor at all but also want a ferret as your next pet, it's better to take some time to make your decision. We'll recommend you to be sure first whether you can tolerate the smell or not. If you want ferrets, you have already known that they enjoy running. And for this, they need enough space to roam around. A misconception about ferrets is that they are small in size and you can easily keep them in a cage. But it's a hoax. Rather, they need a spacious place to live in and are high maintenance too. So you have to get a large cage as much as it's possible. And you must make sure that you are taking them out for a minimum of 4 hours a day. Because the ferret is a pet who doesn't like to be caged at all. Therefore, if you can't arrange enough space for your pet, you better give up the idea of keeping them as your pet. As they are quite extroverted, playful, and love to explore their surroundings, it will be very difficult to keep them in a limited space. When it comes to having a pet, it's necessary to get proper veterinarian care for them. But in terms of ferrets, it's a must. They require an annual checkup, even a semi-annually checkup for the young ferrets. A regular veterinarian checkup can add 6 to 9 more years to their life cycle. Also, at the age of 3, they should have an annual blood test to ensure whether their blood sugar level is balanced or not. Besides, it's necessary to check their kidney and liver functions are normal. Then at the fifth year, your ferrets should be examined every 6 months. Because as long as they're growing, they may develop several health issues. And these health problems may cause death if you don't take the necessary steps beforehand. These yearly checkups may help your ferret live a longer and happier life. But in case you find this hassle or burden, then our recommendation is to get another animal as a pet. So these are some of the facts about ferrets that you should watch before getting one. Hope you have found this video helpful. Let us know what you want us to talk about next. Thanks for watching the video. Like, comment and share this video if you find it useful. Then subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for further updates.